Yo, what's up, guys? James Carter TV, and I was only planning on making one video today, and that was my NFL Week 3 picks. Um, but, I mean, this is just ridiculous. I have to come on here. I have to discuss this news. So, the Cleveland Browns had decided to trade running back Trent Richardson for a first-round 2014 pick. Why? I don't know. Now, there's a lot of, you know, yelling about this, but, you know... Okay, let me let me just say this. Okay, maybe they're planning something here. All right, I'm going to throw this out there. Maybe they know that Brandon Whedon is not their guy. Maybe they're saying, you know what, this is not our guy. So we are going to get an additional 2014 round pick, which we can spend on a quarterback on a deep quarterback class. Now, I'm not a big fan of anyone, really, to me, except for these three guys. Uh, maybe four, okay? Maybe four. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, who's going to be amazing. So maybe they're going to try to trade all kinds of picks for Teddy Bridgewater. So maybe be prepared for that. Um, Taj Boyd, who I really don't know if he can succeed in the NFL. Um, A.J. McCarron, who wins games, okay? Uh, he doesn't lose you games. That's why I'm going to say... AJ McCarron, and maybe Aaron Murray. Uh, and maybe some guy may, like, his stock may go up, like David Fails, or, um, and wow, his name Fails, but, I mean, or whatever the hell. I mean, so, no, Johnny Football, no. He, no, 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 no. I don't even want to discuss that. So maybe they're trying to plan to do an RG3 like trade just in case they don't get, um, Teddy Bridgewater. That would, just in case they're not number one. So they could be playing that. If they're planning that, then I understand it. I'm sorry. Then I understand it. Then I'm on board with this. I'm sorry. I am. Um, because Trent Richardson, okay, he has a lot of potential, blah, 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 blah. Um, but the one thing you need in the NFL is a quarterback. So if you're going to sacrifice this running back in order to get that Teddy Bridgewater quarterback that you are going to trust, then go ahead. Because let's face it, the Browns haven't had a good quarterback in the last decade and a half. 15 years these guys haven't had it. Probably more than that. So if this move is finally going to give them a quarterback, I'm all for it. I mean, running backs are expendable. I'm sorry. Trevor Sin last year got 11 touchdowns. That That's basically all their touchdowns last season. Uh, but the way the Browns offense is uh, going right now, he's not really helping them right now as of this moment. And they do have a good offensive line. So, I'm not too upset over this. I know a lot of you are. Why don't you tell me why? Tell me why I'm wrong in the comments below. I'm just saying, if this ends up, if they end up getting that quarterback in the 2014 class, for me, it has to be Teddy Bridgewater. Well, I'm going to say no to this. And then, in addition, I think they need another wide receiver. I don't trust Greg Little to even be a number two. I think he's a number three. I think Josh Gordon is a number two. I still think they need to find that number one, who they should have had in Julio Jones, but they're idiots. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, let's see where this goes. Comment down below your thing. My NFL Week 3 predictions will be up next in about an hour, so be prepared for that. Until then, James Carter TV, I'm out. Peace.